Yeah, I know. Sorry, mate. I've been away. Yeah. Uh, the ice wall. Yeah, the one at the end of the, the flat earth. That's the one. No, it was rubbish. I got frostbite. Nipples. All three. Anyway, I've got to go. Welcome back to the first Conspiracy Cast of 2019. It is so good to be back. What have we got for you today? Three videos, three flat earth ideas, all debunked by one very special flat earther. And I wonder who that could be. Okay, so this is my new friend, Flat World Logic, and he's back to show us how the sun sets on a flat earth. You just know this is going to be good. Okay, so I like this idea, except for that one minor detail where, on his model, on a flat earth, the sun literally has to roll across the earth, burning everything to a crisp on a daily basis. Just that one little detail. Um, D Marble, do you think this guy really knows what he's talking about? My response, obviously, is no. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not going to be doing this alone. Today I've got help. I've got help from a, a legend. Not a legend, a, a hero. A globe hero. A flat earth globe hero who has no fear of debunking other flat earthers' ideas. He's got no fear of debunking his own ideas. He's got no fear of proving the globe on a daily basis. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then let's give him the introduction he deserves. These are the adventures of Ranty the Flat Earther. As he explores the strange world known to Fraggles as the globe. So Ranty, thank you for doing this, and thank you for all the good work you do proving the globe on a daily basis. Now, this first debunk is probably the easiest of the three. All you've got to do is show everybody that the sun is in fact in the sky and not rolling around the ground. Off you go, pal. A very small, localised sun directly above. Well, great work, pal. You know what? You're a, you're a real hero of mine. Do you have any heroes? Conspiracy cats and Simon Dan. Oh, aren't you lovely? Now, I do want to point out that the sun can't be small and localised because if it was, we'd see massive changes during the day in its angular size. Now, if you want to learn about angular size and how to calculate it, then there's a link in the description below which will take you to my sister channel, the Baldy Cats channel, where I'll dig into the maths of that a little bit more. Uh, feel free to check that out. For now, let's look at the second clip. So this is yet a new video from our friend Flat World Logic. Now he's working really hard at the minute to try and raise the levels of ignorance on the internet and he's doing a sterling job. And in this video he's going to try and explain to us why things appear to vanish from the bottom up on a flat earth. But first of all he needs to find a really flat road for this to work on. And it appears he's found one. That road is about as flat as my arm. I apologise for being late. And so you should apologise, Dell. I'm in the middle of making a video here. Anyway, do you have a good Christmas? No! Alright, fair enough, Dell. We'll uh, leave that one alone. Anyway, we were just laughing about how flat world logic thought that this road was flat. I'm just wondering, can you name something that's flat? A ball? Oh, okay, so here flat world logic runs down his flat hill to show us how things disappear from the bottom up on a flat earth. But it doesn't stop there. He then goes on to make the most extraordinary claim I think I've ever heard. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Flat Earth perspective now not only makes things disappear from the bottom up, but it literally makes you turn into a ghost. I can't wait to see how he does it. Right, let's just see that again. <laughs> I need to grow up. <laughs> okay, so the idea that things disappear from the bottom up due to perspective is due to a misunderstanding of something called the Rayleigh Criterion. And if you're interested in the mathematics behind that, again, if you click the link in the description below, it will take you to the Baldy Cats channel where I explain in depth what the Rayleigh Criterion is and how Flat Earthers misunderstand it. 
But for those of you who prefer a more practical demonstration, or more practical debunk, there's only one man that can help. Ranty Flat Earth, what have you got for us? So there we have Conspiracy Cats and Simon Dan. Brilliant. And the egg, aren't I? Anyway, this is Ranty Flat Earth, and he's placed little effigies of me and Simon Dan at one end of a racetrack, and he sprints, well, he walks 100 metres down to the other end of the racetrack to take some pictures. So we're just going to walk down to the uh, the finishing line, which will put us uh, 100 metres away. OK, Ranty, so now you're at the other end of the racetrack, all you've got to do is put your camera on the floor, take a picture of those two statues, and see, do we actually see any of them vanish from the bottom up? Ranty? Ranty, will you concentrate? I'm trying to make a video here. What are you fiddling with? My ring. Oh man, that is disgusting. Just take a photograph. We're not losing any of the... of the actual... target. Wow, well, Ranty, you are on a roll. Thank you very much. Two ideas down, two ideas debunked. Well done. But this next debunk will not be so easy. This next debunk is by one of the, the greatest flat earth minds I have ever met. This idea is by somebody who earned a score of 20 out of 10 for delusion on the Simon Dan Flat Earth Top Trump game. Ranty, you would now have to debunk yourself. Okay, so Ranty Flat Earth started filming this boat with his P1000 camera, and he stayed zoomed in on it. Now, unsurprisingly, as this boat sailed away from him, after about 15 minutes, the boat looked like this. And then 10 minutes after that, it looked like this. So after filming a boat that is obviously going over the horizon, that's going over the curvature of the Earth, Ranty Flat Earth gets a little bit desperate and has to delve into the world of fairy tales to try and come up with some sort of magical answer that might explain his observations. And this is what he comes up with. Okay, so you have seen the video, and now we need to go through the process of understanding what we saw by means of a scientific breakdown of the factors in play. Firstly, the inferior mirage. What effects is this having on the boat? Well, to get an answer to that, you need to trawl through the data at hand in other videos uploaded on my channel. Here we have a dog playing in the sands one mile away and intermittently being hidden by an inferior mirage. Certainly not by Earth curve. So, Ranty, mirages are a thing, they are real, and for anybody who's interested in the science of how a mirage is formed, again, there's a link in the description below and that will take you to a video on the Baldy Catch channel where we can learn all about it. But for now, for those of you who like practical debunks, again, Ranty, I need you to go and find me a boat with a mirage underneath. Go on, be a good boy. Now that's really crazy because I've just finished doing a time lapse from uh, down the bottom there and that boat never once showed its face. How rude of it. Now Ranty, what I want you to do is keep filming that boat. And I want you to keep filming it as it moves through the area where that mirage forms. And I want you to see how its shape changes and distorts. And once you've done that, I then want you to go back and look at the video of you filming the boat going over the horizon. And I want you to see how its shape doesn't change and it doesn't distort. Therefore, ruling out a mirage has been the cause for that boat appearing to go over the horizon. Ranty Flat Earth, you are amazing. I couldn't have done any of this without you. And I really don't think that I could have debunked Flat Earth as often and as well as I have done without all your help. Anyway, regular viewers at this point will be expecting Chatbox Travels and I really want to keep that as a, a real big part of the channel but I want to make it a better part of the channel. I want to make it bigger and I want to improve it. I want to make it more educational, I want to make it funnier and I want to make it longer. So what I'm going to be doing from now on, depending on the feedback from you guys, is I'm going to be creating standalone Chatbox Travels uh, videos to accompany the Conspiracy Cats videos that come out on a Saturday. Um, the first one, or the next one, will be in a day or two, and I'd really like your feedback. I want to know, would you prefer the old format, which is just tagged onto the end? Or, after you've seen the chat box travels that comes out, do you prefer that? Would you like me to keep going with that format? And, as always, I will do whatever you tell me to do. So, if you've made it to this point in the video, I am really, uh, well, thank you very much. And, it's good to be back, and I will see you very soon. Cats, cats, conspiracy cats No one quite like him to flatten the flats So come feel the vibe Like and subscribe And take off your hats to conspiracy